Torture Talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. I want to talk about the NBA. Two teams, the Clippers and the Lakers, are saying they're going to boycott the whole season. But before we get into that, like, share, subscribe to the page. If you want to donate to the Cash App, it's in the description. Also, my PayPal will be in the description. If you don't want to donate, the best way to support the channel is to share this video, like this video, and hit the notification bell. Because I post videos sporadically, but most of the time I try to post all the time. So, let's get into this, man. The NBA has decided, well, the Clippers and the uh, the Lakers have decided that they are going to boycott. Now, I don't know if it's for the rest of the season, but they're saying this. So, here's my question. And also, too, there's a, there was an anchor. I can't remember his name right now. Was on the show with Shaq, Charles Barkley. Uh, his name will come to me. If it don't, y'all know who he is. I'm sorry, but check me in the description or in the comments. I'm sorry. Well, anyway, so he walked off the show last night, said that he's going to he's gonna stand with the NBA players. Okay, cool. Also, too, the Lakers and the Clippers saying that they are boycotting and they didn't play. So here's my thing. Now. With that being said, I'm gonna give y'all some how I feel, and I'm gonna give y'all what I think is happening. Okay, now, what I think is happening could be wrong, but I'm gonna tell y'all how I feel first. So, this is how I feel. I feel like the NBA has a bunch of virtual signals, signalers, signalers in the NBA to me. They're very, 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 how would I say this? Very consistent with virtual signaling. And the leader of these virtual signalers is LeBron James. Now, and again, I don't hate LeBron James. I don't think LeBron James is a bad guy. And I do believe that some things that LeBron James does is for the greater good. But I also believe that LeBron James virtual signals a lot. And what I mean by that is a lot of these people, they say these things and they do these things, but they truly, really only mean one part of it. For example, right? And I hate to go into this, but it is it is what it is. I don't see none of these NBA players. No, none of them. No NBA player, no NFL player, nobody is actually kneeling for the things that go on in the black community that we can change. Now, again, I know people say, oh, well, oh, nobody wants to hear that. Nobody wants to hear that. Yeah, well, it is what it is. You have to hear it. Because I think that these things need to be said. They need to be said. Why isn't it that these same NBA players don't kneel or don't boycott when it comes to what goes on in our black communities? Why? The, the, the killings in Chicago, the killings in New York, the, even the young kids that got killed. Why, why don't they talk about that? Now, or I'll even say this. I'll go as far as saying this. Why don't, why don't they talk about the police brutality and us killing each other? Why does it have to be separated? Because it's all about the black man. It's all about us. It's all about black people, black men. And we are in the center. The black men are in the center of everything. And whether people like it or not, it's the truth. We're in the center. So that's my question. Two, what was the point What's the point of you guys boycotting? Is if what's going to change? Now, I, I know people saying, oh, well, they're boycotting and that means that they're not going to play until what? Until what? They're boycotting and not going to play until what? That's the question I have. So 
You're boycotting and not going to play. Are you guys going to go out there and stand with the protesters? Because I truly believe that you guys being millionaires, you guys don't really care. Y'all just want to have a viral moment. Now, here's why. Here's where I, 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 the dude that walked off, and I can't remember his name right now. The guy that walked off. I apologize. The guy that walked off. You left your other anchors sitting there. Two other black guys. Now, it makes them look bad because now they're not following suit. So it makes them look bad. Now, you could have just said to them, listen, I'm not even going to come on the show because I'm standing with them. Instead of you doing it in the middle of it because you're you're looking for a moment. It's not that you did it because you did it because, oh, there's there's a lot going on and no you waited for somebody else to do something and they signal to you and you did it you didn't do it because that's how you really feel because a lot of y'all saying a lot of y'all are saying this and this really pisses me off a lot of y'all especially y'all athletes was criticizing Kaepernick for kneeling y'all was going in on him for kneeling talking about him like a dog for kneeling now all of a sudden everybody's kneeling now, all of a sudden, everybody is doing it. Now, again, everybody could be kneeling and they could really feel this way. But for some of y'all, y'all only do it because y'all not brave enough to do it. Y'all wait for this mob mentality or other people to do it first because you are too scared to do it. You're too scared to actually do it yourself. So why isn't that you walk? Why didn't you walk off the show? When a bunch of other people got killed. Why didn't you? Because number one, you don't want to feel, you want a viral moment and you don't want to feel left out. That's the thing. So now you put your other two, two, two or three anchors in the middle of it because now they looking at you like, everybody looking at them like, well, why isn't they walking off? Why aren't they walking off? That's the thing. So all this, all this virtual signaling, cool. We get it. We get that. We get that that the NBA is good because it's not just going to be this team. Now all of a sudden, everybody's going to do it because no one has their own mind. Everybody's going to be like, you know what? The NBA stopped. Everybody's everybody's going to boycott. But my question is, why? Why are you boycotting? Are you boycotting because of systemic racism in America? How are you going to change that? What are you going to tell people? The order, only way we'll come back to play basketball is if what? That's the question. What are you going to do? You're, you're, you guys are, are boycotting for what? What did Jay-Z say? Yeah, we protested, but what's next? So you guys are boycotting, but what's next? What are you going to do? Because I totally don't agree with these millionaires trying to make it seem like they're going through hardships in all this. You're not. You don't feel the same pain that we feel. You don't. You guys live in these $4 million homes in, in the lap of luxury. Driving these Maseratis and Lamborghinis around. You don't understand. You might have came from that. But you graduated into a different lifestyle. So you don't understand what people go through every day. Have, have any of y'all been in a Lamborghini before? Have any of y'all ever been in a mansion and stayed there, not just been there because you delivered an Amazon package? Have you ever been in a been inside of a mansion and you stayed there? Have you ever even owned a home? This is the thing. So this is what kills me about a lot of these players who don't even deal with black women. I don't even, the thing is, LeBron James, is, uh, uh, yeah, LeBron James is a little woke. I give him that, but I also believe that LeBron James does virtual signal too. But I do believe that LeBron James, he, he's coming from a sincere place overall. But it's the other players, you know what I'm saying? That kind of kills me. But still, that's the thing. None of you guys don't understand what people are going through, and if you really care then why are you not putting money into a lot of these, these cities and help these people? 
Y'all doing this for uh, attention. Y'all not doing this because y'all really care. Because guess what? If that's the case, then why don't you say, you know what? I'm going to donate half my salary to the inner city of Chicago to help get these people on their feet. I'm going to donate half my money or I'm going to pay for a bunch of community centers or whatever to help these people. None of y'all are doing that. None of y'all. So it kills me when y'all get here and when y'all say it's now overall, I understand the premise of why y'all doing it. Don't get me wrong. We know why. But it's always a question of why and what happens next. That's the thing. See, all these rioting and all these things going on in the cities right now. That people are hurting each other and burning stuff down. What's the point? What's the point? What are you doing it for? Ain't nothing going to change until... Is nothing going to change until legislation and laws change. You can burn down anything. You could do whatever you think is best. But because you feel that way, doesn't make it right. There's laws in place for a reason, whether you like it or not. It's a lot of laws that I don't like, but they're in place. The only way you can change it is if you have to get legislation changed. Burning stuff down is not going to get legislation changed. You know what they're going to do? They're going to rebuild it. That's what they're going to do. That's it. So all this virtual signaling, I think, needs to stop. I, I truly believe that people like LeBron James, I get it. But at the same time, when you do that and you have a bunch of different people under you who actually just do it because you're doing it, it's kind of like how people join these these uh, Antifa and, and the uh, anti-Black Lives Matter uh, protesters and even certain Black Lives Matter protesters, um, um, not protesters, rioters and looters. Um, it's just like them. They just join it just to join it, but don't know why they're fighting. And I believe that that's the same thing when it comes down to the NBA. Torture Talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Hey, man, listen. I'm not going to be one of these people that just go along with things. I'm sorry. I need to see the facts and I'm awake till the story comes out. I'm not going to just be like, yo, that's messed up, blah, 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 blah. And then close my mind to it because I think that because that's what a lot of us do. We close our mind to a lot of these things that happen and we actually know the truth and it's right in front of us. But we pretend like it's not there. That's the problem. Torture talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. You know what it is.